Hello YouTube, welcome to Open TTD with Leutnant Joker. And we're back near our planning track. And we will probably work on upgrading this station first. And for that, I will have to disconnect some of these incoming trains. Because here I will have to do quite a little bit of, well, quite a little bit, quite a bit of work. Since this station does not only have to be expanded in terms of how many platforms it has, this station also has to be expanded in how many tons it is long. I need it five tons long and I need four platform pieces. Move the railway? Okay, yes, of course. Because we haven't upgraded this one already. There we go. That's our station. And here I will use a different layout for the actual tracks. Let me quickly upgrade these to actual tracks so I can work with them. Here I'm going to use a little bit of a different layout. And I'm going to show you which one. I'm going to move the usual cross a little bit further forward, but I'm not going to use it here in the middle. Because I'm using again a layout that splits the departure track from the arriving track. But we're going to do it a little bit different than we did for our cargo line. Think about this for a second. I need one bridge over here and one over here. There we go. There. Now we can upgrade, or rather get rid of those track pieces right there, because I want to connect just temporarily so these trains can actually go someplace again. There we go. So now as you can see, these trains can now actually use all the tracks. By this track it can reach these two platforms and by that other track it can reach these two platforms and they can also leave from all the platforms once they go past this cross by the exit tracks. Which means we have again split the exit from the entry tracks. And we will do the same on this side. Get rid of the trees again. And we need our bridges again. We should hurry up because this train wants to actually go someplace. There we go. Now it should find its departure track, which is this one across the bridges. And you should actually turn around because now you can actually use the departure track. And again, so they can actually choose one of their tracks. We will put signals, one-way signals right there. Again, just one before the initial split so they can choose one of the platforms. And on the return track, it's actually not that important where you put them. Because when they go past them, they just indicate to the next train that it can follow up. And that means the train that is immediately behind them. But as I mentioned, that is not really that important. Move this a little bit further forward, so 
so I can actually put some signals in here. This is the departure track, so I want it like this. And we can put in some additional signals right there. Okay, so now we have our station working again, temporarily, a little bit uh, scrappy down there, and this guy has actually trapped himself. We need to help him out quickly by actually allowing him access to one of the stations, because he ended up in a wrong location, probably because he didn't find the exit track on the other side. There we go. Now this guy can go again. And they will not actually block each other when one is leaving and the other one is coming in. And that will happen on this side when our little train that goes to Hanover comes in. Which probably has completely lost its track because it actually doesn't have any connection to go back again. Which is of course an issue. And we will rectify this by putting a little bit of a connection for that guy right in here. There we go. So it has a little return track that it can follow up on. There we go. And yes, I will probably not... Uh, doesn't really matter. It will, they will block each other if one wants to go to the other direction and one wants to go to that direction. So I should probably not be blocking this split. Actually, I shouldn't be blocking this split. I shouldn't be preaching one thing and then doing another. This should be long enough. There we go. Mm. I kind of don't want you guys. Those are the signals on the bridge that comes with one of these patches that I've that I'm using. I'm not very fond of that implementation, so I'm not going to use that right now. I may use it in some places, but I'm not going to use it in this place. Yes, there's only one train here anyway, so... And we can wait for it a little bit, it will show up. It probably didn't uh, have the ability to go back, so it just went for the circle. It will arrive back here and then go for Hanover. So now we have extended this station and made it actually pretty... Flexible. This is probably as big as we're ever going to need it. This can handle quite a few trains. We will modify a little bit on how the track layout looks that is leading up to it. But as for the station, this station is as big as it's ever going to get. This station should be able to handle pretty much anything that we throw at it. We're going to make it a little bit more pretty. But, um, ah, sorry, had to mute the microphone there for a second, had to sneeze. Aside from that, we should be fine. So now we should be able to update this track. So, let's look what we actually have in terms of trains. So the fastest one that we have should be this one, right, that goes the BR-18, that goes 115 kilometers per hour. So what have we in terms of tracks? The next one should be enough, the low speed rail construction that does 125. So that is actually what we're going to use. And we're going to use the conversion tool to upgrade all this kind of track that we have here. We need to be a little bit careful down there. To this kind of track. And 
up to this point, we actually want everything. The entire station, also the depots, although that probably doesn't make much of a difference. Yeah, no suitable railway, so that is probably all, all upgraded already. station. Let's make sure we don't upgrade that depot down there because I'm not sure that we actually will keep that layout. And let's upgrade everything up to this point. And we're actually going to link that one up. And we need another... This layout is actually becoming a little bit more troublesome than I thought, so let's move that a little down, so we can put the signal where it belongs, because of course it belongs pretty much before this. Okay, now this is not high speed, that part, we don't need that high speed, neither is this part, you only need the main track to be high speed. Well, low speed in terms of um, what we will be able to use in the future, but is that actually upgraded? Looks a little bit... Oh, it's looking dark because that train actually has reserved it. Okay. This depot might be completely useless by now. But we will connect it up for now like this. Removing this signal however. Let me just put a few more signals in here. Just so these trains actually have a nice way of separating themselves from each other. Now this is a dead end going out there still because well we don't have any trains going in the direction yet. But we may in the future, because there's some cities over there, maybe uh, this one. Leinefelde Vorbis. Never heard of that one, actually. Anybody living there? Tell me where that actually is in Germany. So that will be a problem for the future, for now. As long as the city doesn't approach this area, where we might be able to actually... Let me put in some planning tracks right there. No, some planning tracks. Jeez, no, not this one. I don't want that one yet. It would just confuse me when I look at it. There we go. So we have some uh, planning tracks right there where the city won't expand across. So we will not be um, in any kind of a problematic situation when the city grows. So now we have this station in place. So let's start going further down here. This station is in place. Here we go past the station. And here we have to convert again. Let's see whether our money is actually going to hold out. As you can see, this is why I didn't pay back the loan, because I need the money. And there we go, ran out of it. So we need to wait a little until we get this going. This one will be exactly the same. Except that one track will be high speed and the other won't. And we probably actually want this one to be the high speed one. And the other one to be the low speed one. And 
then we not just need to switch around how these actually connect up. And we're fine. There we go, and in the future that train should no longer be using that upper one. Because the upper one will actually lead to, lead to our high speed track. Of course we need to be able to get from one to the other. But other than that, we should be fine. Which station layout do we actually have there? Oh, the rural. Well, let's let's stick to that for now. We need to make that longer, however, as well. Let me just put a station in there right now. So, oh, I can't even afford the signal. Oh boy. Can I actually get a more more loan? There we go. Maxed out the loan again. So we have a whole bunch of borrowed money again. Not exactly ideal, but um, what we're doing right now will give us a lot of money back, trust me. There we go. Why is this actually high speed track here? Quickly proceed and update all this stuff. So that we can actually put a train on these lines. And here I actually th have to think for a moment. that you guys are following a little bit on what the hell I'm doing here. I have to switch some of these around so I have the trains on the correct type of track. Because sometimes I have to work a little with the... No, I didn't want to do that. Let's do this. So now you're on the high speed track, but that's not a problem. You will not be for very long. What the hell did I just do there? No, 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 that's actually right. Okay. Because here I have to switch back. It is a little confusing why I'm jumping back and forth here, but I have to do that since that's how the original layout was. And here I'm actually doing it wrong again. There we go. Upgrade that one. That one here is actually not that important because I'm going to stop at Frankfurt anyway. Well, let's do it like this consistently. There we go. And here there's a piece missing. 
Okay, so now we have to make Frankfurt a little bit bigger. Because we're going to have a four length train coming in here. I'm going to use the one that we've been using before all the time. We're going to use a two. What? Local authority refuses to allow this. Well, this is fantastic. Okay, we obviously built way too much stuff in their backyard, so we have to wait a little while. Because I sure as hell am not going to... What do you think about what I'm doing here? This right. Yes, I am doing this right. There we go. So coming in from both directions, they can choose a platform. Going out, they can choose again a path. And the other one, well, at this point, should choose the correct rail type well a fast train will probably switch to the faster lane Zwickau is again the station where both of them need to go hopefully these guys will be will allow us to do um, no, they also won't. Oh boy. Did we destroy too many trees or what is your problem? Oh boy. I don't really want to go for that cheap trick of planting a whole bunch of trees around their place. Because I find that, well, quite frankly, a little bit silly. This will actually not work. No, this won't work. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade that entire piece because that's connecting pretty much everything. So I don't want the um, trains be in any problems if they choose a different track here because here it doesn't matter which one they take they will end up both will end up at the station anyway no they actually will not what the hell am i talking about this is Mitte, Mittenwald. oh jesus sorry guys this is actually not that um not that simple to do choose that track you should always choose that track that will always go Did I just transform that into a lower speed track which one is the high speed track now Jesus very low speed low speed okay that's exactly the wrong way around uh. Sorry, folks. This is not exactly simple what I'm doing here. And I also forgot to start my stop watching in, so I'm probably completely over time. So 
Sorry for that one. If I am, but I kind of want to get this finished. So here after the station we'll have another split again. No, we actually won't. We won't have a split here. Because the high speed track is coming from the outside in here. And the low speed track is coming from up there. No, that is actually fine. That was actually fine. Frankfurt was confusing me with their bad attitude towards us actually building stuff on their turf. Quickly check this again. This is all little speed track, that is okay. Alright. Yes. This should be all fine. If only these guys would let us build stations at Twickau now. I mean, I can of course put the trains already on there because they can just use this platform, but they will be too... too long. And do I want another depot for the high-speed ones? I probably do. Where do we put that? Actually, let's put it right there. No, that's the wrong one. There we go. Come on. I was thinking about whether I should do this right now or after I put the new cargo trains down there in action. I probably should have put the cargo trains in there first. But... We should be fine anyway because they seem to be making a whole lot of money. So let's see, what have, do we have here? We could now of course use also the BR01, but I think for this express line... Yes, it does have 130. I think the BR18 will be enough for, uh, for us for a while. Now we'll put the BR01 on our premium line because Despite it not being able to reach quite the 130, I think that 125 will be worth it there. Holy cow! 225! Okay, that will be quite a bit of money that we'll have to wait for. But I think you will have an idea by now on how this is going to work. should probably not put in the signals because it's going to be only one train anyway for a, for a second. So the train will start here. It will choose the faster line while the short, while the small, uh, the uh, slow one, short it is also but slow, it will have to go to this short line because the fast line actually doesn't reach its destination here. Then it has to do the same again, because it can't leave that anyway for Darmstadt. Then they will join at Frankfurt, 
then this one will again have to use the slow line, otherwise it wouldn't reach Mittenwalde because the other one can't reach Mittenwalde. Then they will meet at Zwickau again, where again the slow one will have to choose this line, otherwise it won't get to Harborn. And then they will go back and meet up here. So that way I have the fast train always on the fast line and it can use its speed. Oh, the money is actually coming in, so this should be fine. Oh yes, a whole lot of money coming in. How much money did it actually cost again? 226, all right. Well, we should have that in a bit. I'm not sure how I am in the time right now. I kind of want to put at least one of these trains on the line. How far do we actually have it here? Okay, this one we'll do on the next episode. Let's at least get the express train going. We also have new passenger cars, as you can see here. These have four axles instead of one, so they have the full length. Also have more passengers, as you can see. These one held 30, these one hold 40. And then we have the long range, which will actually be the one that we're going to use for the express train. And they hold 56 passengers. So that's the stuff that we're going to use. And these small ones we will use um, for upgraded trains, uh, for the upgraded uh, passenger trains, the P ones, which are the slow, well, not necessarily slow in the future, but the short range. Um, stopping at every station trains. Those will be upgraded with those. But our express trains will get the mainline trains. And we will make them four tiles long. How much do these things cost? 40,000. Whoa. But this thing you will see will make some money. So it will be worth it. Now you also see why I didn't pay back the loan. I actually needed another loan. I needed a whole bunch of money for this stuff. But there will be money coming back. These will do quite a lot of money because they're fast. They're holding a lot of passengers. So they will be worth it. And I want to get at least one going before we end the episode so you see what the hell I'm actually doing here. should be actually fine signal wise because for the most part since we only have one train going and it has pretty much for most of its journey the track for itself it should be fine with the few signals that we have I will of course upgrade this entire track circle with new signals so I can put more trains on this line and I'm not restricted on how many signals I put in there sorry because what I told you is still true for this one. We only have these trains going in one direction. That means we don't have to worry about trains blocking each other by putting too many signals in. If they all go in one direction, you can put in as many signals as you want. And we should be able to put one more in. I'm going to make it for long, despite us not being able to put this to uh, expand the stations quite yet. But Mittenwalde, not Mittenwalde, Frankfurt and Zwickau will be expanded. And this one will also be expanded. It is also still three long. There we go. 3.9 long. That is exactly all right. And it will go... Coming from here, it will go to Zwickau first, then it will go non-stop to Schifferstadt and non-stop to Frankfurt. And we will automatically automate its timetable already, since we will probably have more of it. So I'm going to leave this window open so you can actually follow it while I go ahead and quickly make sure it has a group going on. There we go. 
As you can see, it is quite a bit faster than the other ones. It goes the full 115 kilometers per hour. And we will see whether it takes the correct track. The next one, it should take the right track. That should be the fast one. And as you can see, it chooses that track. Let's fast forward it. It goes past this station. As you can see, that is quite a bit faster than this one. It meets up in this station and goes for the upper one. Going all the way around on our high speed main track. It was past this one, which it doesn't care about. Here splits again, goes past this city, goes into Frankfurt, goes for the high speed track again. Goes for Zwickau. And again, it can overtake this train. Not making a whole lot of money yet. Mostly empty. But that will change. But that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to try and expand all this for the next one. Or in the next one actually, I'm not doing anything off camera here. So we don't got just to get this express train going. Also going to get a bus line, probably going in Frankfurt and Zwickau at least with a bus or two. So we get more stuff going on this, on these train stations. I'm also hoping that these guys are a little bit happier with us then so I can actually expand these stations to two track, to four track long, to four tiles long, I mean, and two tracks wide so we can take full advantage of these stations and the same of course for Schifferstadt which is of course wide enough already but we need an additional piece for its length so that's going to be it for the next episode until then i say keep your heads up folks i'll see you on the next one